Rated G. What's up, guys? Middle Age Gamer here. We're playing Train Simulator 2017, and we just finished part one to Long Branch, um, which is this scenario right here. We're going to go ahead and continue on with part two now. Again, um, I think we ended up in Aberdeen in the first run, so we should be starting off in Aberdeen, heading all the way to Long Branch using the ALP 45 DP on the North Jersey coastline. It's about 30 minutes long, relatively easy. It says picking up where you left off in the first part of the scenario, you carry out the rest of the journey to Long Branch. Shout out to everybody, I got a thousand of a thousand. Harley, Richard Cash, Joseph, NJT, Relfan, Harlem Bray, Trackside Simulations, I Love Trains, Dark Jr., I Am Track America, Kingdom Hearts, there's a lot of them, BNSF, Spencer, J or Jim 1557. Shout out to all you guys for the thousand of a thousand. Let's go ahead and get into the career scenario. Alright, so scenario is loaded up. Says, good evening, engineer. It's all warm. It's a warm fall evening and the last leg of the New York to Long Branch service. You'll be traveling to Long Branch, of course, picking things up where we left off in Aberdeen and stopping at every station along the way. Good luck. Let's go ahead and unload passengers first. Put forward headlights are already on. We do need the instruments lights on as well and we can turn the cab light off. There's no reason to have it on right now. So we are in Aberdeen's, and you can see we're loading, unloading passengers here. Let's go and get back in cab, take a look at the task list before we take off. There you go. Got quite a few stations to go. It's only 15 miles in total, though, so relatively short run. Makes you wonder why they didn't put the whole long branch run in just one career scenario. I wonder why they split it up, but neither here nor there. Wait for the doors to close, and we'll be taking off. Go ahead and release the brakes. And I'll start moving forward here. I know I just passed a lot of uh, intersections coming into the station. I have no clue if there's any coming up. So don't be surprised if I missed one or two heading out. Wish me luck. Trying to go for a thousand of a thousand. We'll see what happens. Just trying to prevent wheel slip moving forward. Let's go ahead and go to full power now though. And we got clearance to go up to 70 miles per hour. And only about a little bit over a mile and a half to go. Cool thing about this route is there is a lot of AI trains, which I do like. See them passing by. So it's one positive. It's also a very, very well detailed route in my opinion. It's probably why it's one of the main three for Trans Simulator 2017, but very well detailed route and the frame rate's pretty good considering how much details there are as well. Just kind of keeping an eye out for intersections. I really can't see that far. I feel like as I get older my eyesight gets a little bit worse as well. Alright, so change in speed, signaled by the light, which is fine, not a big deal. User okay, left your channel. Up ahead. Go ahead and start braking. I think that's the last intersection that I can see. Got one more, it looks like. Again, I don't know if you even have to blow the horn that close to a uh, platform, but I'm going to do it anyways. Let's 
go ahead and release the brakes so we can move forward just a little bit more. ETA is actually way behind the uh, arrival time, which is not making me too happy starting off, but we should be fine. Go ahead and turn the bell off. There we go. Let's go ahead and get stopped real quick. Load and unload before we get too far behind. There we go. First station down. What up, lovely girl? Purple and black. So we'll be heading to Middletown next from Hazlitt. Go to release the brakes, get moving forward. And I guess let's go ahead and look at the passenger view if we can. There we go. We have to run actually backwards. Lots of good scenery though. We go full power. Of course, I missed the intersections being in passenger, but that's okay. Engineers taking care of it up front. Looks like we got about just over four miles to go to Middletown. We'll get back in cab real quick. Yeah, this train's a little bit slow when taking off. Brake system is really, really good though, so it brakes relatively quickly. All right, just under three and a half miles to go. Barely catching the intersections right before I go by them. Lucky I even saw that one, to be honest with you. Right, under two miles to go to Middletown. I think that's an intersection up ahead. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it may just be shadowing on the ground. Uh, let's see. No, just shadowing. Just kidding, guys. No intersection up ahead. ETA is way ahead of the arrival time, which is good. Looks like we're still cleared up to 80 going into the station. It's definitely getting a little bit darker outside, though. Sun has continuously gone down since part one of the video. 
go ahead and let off the power. I'm going to look down just a little bit so I can see the pressure gauge, whatever you want to call it, for the brakes. Go ahead and start braking. I actually got a real train going by my property right now, as you guys can probably hear. See that, that brake pressure may be perfect for how long it's going to take to stop. May have to add a little bit more pressure here in just a second. So far, so good. Going to add a little bit more pressure. There we go. Make sure we get stopped before we get to the end of the platform. And we'll go ahead and load unload passengers as always. There we go. So we are in Middletown heading to Red Bank next. Little Silver and then we'll end up in Long Branch once it's all said and done. I think we're making pretty good time so far though. Try not to stare, be creepy. Just kind of glancing at it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Always got jokes. Take a quick looking cap from here. There we go. So I guess the, you got two different sides. One's facing forward, one's facing backwards, set for the very end. A little four seater at the very end right there. All right, gonna release the brakes here in just a second. Head back out. Jesus, another train going by. All right, take the brake pressure off. Let's go ahead and get moving forward. You'll see the brake pressure release in the bottom right, right there. I don't think it's going to be nighttime by the time we get to the Long Branch Station, but it's definitely getting slightly darker as we go on. Alright, just over three and a half miles to go. We're still cleared up to 80 miles per hour, which only means one thing, we can do a couple train buys on the way. It's a pretty good looking train, in my opinion. I like the livery on there. I know a lot of you guys like to stay on the exterior a little bit more. I like to stay on the interior as the actual engineer, but I know that can get a little bit boring for you guys. If you got to this point, go ahead and comment cheers below. Definitely appreciate it. Make sure to hit the little symbol up, the like symbol for me on the video. I haven't been asking for that on any, any of my past videos. I want to see if it makes any difference on this or not. So that definitely helped me out. This is one of my first videos where I added the rating system as well. And so hopefully you guys like that. I'll just let you know if it's uh, anybody could watch it or if it's for mature audiences only, I know doing live streams and drinking I can start cussing and doing things like that but uh, I'm gonna start making some G-rated videos for the general audience for all the kids as well just in case I don't User want joined your channel. getting mad at them barely caught that And let's go ahead and brake because we do have a reduction in speed coming up down to 50 miles per hour. I need to brake 
that hard. down to 50 miles per hour. I have to actually just break a little bit more. Kind of going downhill just slightly. hard to see the intersections with how dark it is. Can't tell there's probably one coming up somewhere up there, but we shall see. Only about a half mile away from Red Bank. Breaking a little bit, trying to do too many things at once. ETA is really good, right on time. We're pretty close to the arrival time, so I'll break up here just a little bit. There we go. Go ahead and load, unload passengers yet again. And so we are at Red Bank. We're going to be heading to Little Silver, which is just over two miles. And we only have a total of just under six miles to go to Long Branch. We do have an intersection right in front of us. Go ahead and release the brake pressure right now. Get moving forward. Again, not sure if you have to do the whole sequence when the intersection is that close or if you have to do it at all, but go ahead and do it. Maybe if you guys are an engineer out there, let me know. I'm kind of curious about that. I'm assuming you probably don't hit the uh, horn at all. That could be wrong. All right, full power. Looks like there may be another intersection coming up. It's kind of hard to see though. I think there is one up here. Not, I look like an idiot, but I'm pretty sure there's one right here.
ton of them, Jesus Christ. It's gonna speed up, but we already have a reduction up to, or I guess down to 40 coming up. All right, my ears are ringing from using the bell and the horn so much. ETA is about right on time, so I'm not gonna speed up right now. I'm gonna let it coast. train right there. Go ahead and reduce my speed just a little bit. Get to the under 40 mile per hour marker. Section, yeah, there is. Just kidding. So we have the whole train on the platform, as far as I can tell. Take a look at the back. Yeah, pretty close. Not all the doors are going to open up. Let's go ahead and load, unload the passengers. And then we'll head over to Long Branch, which is our final run. Just over, just under three and a half miles, actually. Okay, go ahead and put the bell back on, release brakes, get moving forward. section right there of course I missed that one and we're at doing 35 for a little bit from the looks of it there we go just cruising along I guess it's probably because these little bridges that we're passing over. That's why we have the reduction in speed. You guys can't really see because the sun is almost completely down. It's so one thing for sure, there's plenty of intersections in this uh, this DLC, which I guess is a good thing. It would be better if I actually memorized where the intersections were before making the video, but it's my first run to Long Branch, so we'll leave it at that. That's an intersection coming up as well. It's so hard to see with the sun going down with it being dark out. Alright, and 
we are cleared to go up to 80 miles per hour. We'll leave the bell on because I know I see another intersection coming up with cars crossing. I saw another intersection coming up. Oh, it's down there. Because it did the horns a little bit too early. Turn the bell off for a second. Getting kind of obnoxious right there. slower than I need to. I'll have to do down to 25. Coming into Long Branch, just over a quarter mile to go. Cool if the AI actually used the uh, the train horn. There we go. Final destination right here. I think we did pretty good the whole time. I don't think we were late as far as I know. train on the platform and let's go ahead and load unload passengers one last time pretty good route North Jersey coastline very impressed the the frame rates really good there's a lot of scenery and of course I like the train as well has the passenger view which is a plus although you're riding backwards going this way at least I'm assuming you're riding forward going back the other way turn our dust light on for now and along with the cab light take a quick break
And let's see how we did. There you go. Congratulations, engineer. You successfully finished the journey from Aberdeen all the way to Long Branch. Let's see how you did. Thousand of a thousand, as you can see right there. That's uh, the end of to Long Branch part two. Definitely appreciate everybody for watching me. Again, shout out to everybody who got a thousand of a thousand over here. As you can see, it's a relatively easy scenario. Anyways, if you haven't already, make sure to follow me at twitch.tv slash the middle age gamer. I would definitely appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Don't die. Don't you know